President Trump's made it clear that our administration is going to put the safety and security of the American people first. And the executive order that he put into effect was legal, it was appropriate, and our administration is going to be using all legal means at our disposal yeah, to challenge the judge's that, order. I understand that, but is, is, is it right for the president to say so-called judge? Doesn't that undermine the separation of powers and the Constitution written right next door? Well, I, I don't think it does. I think the American people are very accustomed to this president speaking his mind and speaking very straight with them, and it's very frustrating. When, when scholars on the left and the right, people as distinguished as Jonathan Turley of George Washington University have said, while he doesn't agree with the executive order, he recognizes the president has the full authority to put the security of the homeland first in determining who comes into right, this, this country. Judge but to see appointed. a judge actually suspend that order across but, the country, so George, is frustrating judge, all of us. This is a judge who was nominated by President Bush, 99 to nothing, confirmed. How is he a so-called judge? Well, again, we, we face a dangerous enemy, inspiring people to come into this country, and frankly, inspiring people who are already in this country. And the president is determined to use the authority that he has under the Constitution and under the law. But we'll work but through the courts to challenge But doesn't judge have the authority them. to do what he did as well? He certainly does. And that's why the administration is complying with that order as we speak. And we'll go through the process in the courts to get a stay of that order so that, again, we can implement uh, this action that is, is entirely focused on the safety and security of the American people. Look, we've got to do things differently.